What exactly are sea monkey sea diamonds and how do they work? In this series, we're taking a look at every single sea monkey pouch under the microscope and testing them out on real sea monkeys. Of all the hyperbolic and exaggerated sea monkey marketing, there's no doubt that sea diamonds take the cake. In fact, it's so bad it's verging on being a scam. Sea diamonds were first released in the late 1970s, a few years after most of the other pouches in this series, so the packet never got a creative Joe Orlando sea monkey illustration. Instead, the front of this one simply shows the graphic of a finely cut diamond. Over on the back it says, and please prepare yourself, how to use sea diamonds. These sparkling sea gems make sea monkeys happy by providing them with play toys, but as their water evaporates, don't stir it and a miracle occurs. The diamonds will rise from the bottom and float halfway up in the water, defying gravity. Then watch the sea monkeys toss their sea diamonds around like jeweled beach balls, or even ride them like surfboards. They get the exercise and play they need for a long, healthy life. Best of all, it's absolutely non-toxic and safe. You know, they say the formula for happiness in life is reality minus expectations. Basically, people are generally happier when situations are better than they anticipate. Well, I don't know about you, but these sea diamonds have set my expectations way high. Which is why the come down hits hard when you open them and see that your diamonds are really just small pieces of discarded cut up plastic. Yeah, not quite what I was expecting when I first read this. But maybe they can redeem themselves with how well they function. Perhaps the sea monkeys really will ride them like surfboards. Here's one under the microscope. I don't know why I'm showing you this, it's just clear plastic. Now the reason this packet was already opened was because I've actually reviewed sea diamonds on the channel in the past in my Ocean of Fun kit review. But I'll give you another look today, this time in the NASA space shuttle tank from 1998. I'm hoping that if they don't look like jeweled beach balls, at the very least maybe they'll look like twinkling stars. So it seems they've mostly sunk to the bottom of the tank or remained floating at the surface. Not a great start. But maybe we can encourage them to hover in the middle by increasing the water salinity to make the plastic more buoyant. I'm going to use the Plasma 3 packet to add in some extra salt to see if we can get some of them to float. Okay, so this took me a bit of work to get right, but now a few of them are somewhat suspended. The sea monkeys definitely don't appear to actively want to play with them though. Instead, it seems they occasionally just accidentally bump into them rather than riding them like surfboards. So yeah, they're a bit of a letdown, but I do still appreciate the creativity behind the marketing, even if it is wildly misleading.